Hey guys, it's Gizmo Joe. Uh, I'm pretty excited today. I uh, just ripped open my DHL bag here and uh, got my new Elephone S8. Uh, now, this particular phone uh, I purchased on GearBest on September 30th. Uh, it came on October 17th. Um, now, to be fair to GearBest, they did say that it wasn't going to ship out until the end of October. So it actually came here a lot quicker than I thought it would. Um, now, I've never had an Elephone uh, phone before. Um, I've had Xiaomi in the past, and I've tried a Meizu, Mizu, not really sure how you say that one. Um, and I, I thought they were really, really good. Um, build quality is fantastic. Uh, and I just said, you know, uh, what's the point of spending, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars on, you know, a Samsung or an Apple iPhone when I can get uh, a, a flagship sort of experience? Uh, with a much cheaper product. Um, so uh, I really like the Chinese phones. I think they're great. Uh, this one really um, caught my eye because of the screen. Screen is a 2K screen, um, which is like insane. It's six inch. Uh, it's one of those bezel-less designs. I wanted something that was a little flashier. I mean, the, my Xiaomi phone um, was great, but you know, <sighs> You know, there's a reason why they call them the Apple of China. You know, they kind of copy designs and stuff like that. So they're not particularly flashy looking phones. Um, and obviously the bezel-less phone um, is all the rage now. Uh, everyone's pretty much copying Xiaomi, uh, you know, after they came out with the Mi Mix. Uh, but again, you know, the Mi Mix is, is, is a bit pricey for what it is. Uh, you know, there was issues with, uh, you know, sound resonance and things like that uh, coming through the ceramics and, and whatnot. But anyway... Um, I decided to go with the Elephone S8. I got it on sale at GearBest, uh, regularly $280 US dollars. I got it for $240, um, and I believe it is still $240 US right now on GearBest. The uh, link is in the description. Anyway, I want to do a quick unboxing for you. So, as I said before, it came via DHL, so I paid the extra 10 bucks or whatever to get it here a little bit quicker. Uh, it came in one of these just kind of um, regular you know, international plastic shipping bags. Uh, not crazy about that because I don't know if you can see here, but my box is a bit dinged up. So, uh, I mean, this guy came, DHL has tracking. So, you know, I saw it leave China. Uh, it came into Singapore and eventually uh, it got down here to Australia. Um, so, again, the box is a bit dinged up. So I was a bit disappointed uh, with the packaging in that regard. But uh, it did get here pretty quick. So I guess I can't complain too much. Um, box itself, pretty plain. Uh, Elephone logo. Um, nothing really to cry home about. This is awesome. Keep expecting and be surprised. Um, you know, like that motto. It's uh, pretty upbeat. Anyway, uh, again, it's the S8. I'll bring this closer here, see if my phone will focus. Um, so as you can see, the CPU is a MediaTek Helio X25. That's a DecaCore processor. A lot of people make a big deal over the MediaTek versus Snapdragons. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big gamer on my phone, so uh, I've had MediaTek phones. I've had Snapdragon phones. I really can't tell the difference. Um, I mean, if that bothers you, then obviously don't go for this phone. MediaTek's are cheaper. Uh, that's why those chips are used in a lot of these smaller um, manufacturers. But anyway, uh, it's got it's got 4 gigabytes of RAM, and it's got a 64 gigabyte uh, ROM storage. Um, now, obviously, you're not going to get 64 gigabytes usable. Um, big thing that was a downside for me was that it does not support uh, micro SD card expansion. Um, I do torrent on my phone. I, I pretty much do everything on my phone. So not having the expandable storage was a bit iffy for me, but I wanted a statement phone. I wanted that bezel-less uh, awesome screen so I figured it was something I just have to live with 64 gigabytes is still pretty big um, so your cameras you got a uh, front selfie shooter of 8 megapixels you have a rear camera that is 21 megapixels and from what I understand that is a Sony sensor it's only a single camera uh, a lot of these newer phones especially the bezel -less ones it's all dual camera it's all the rage but you know a lot of guys like mr. who's the boss and a few others have pointed out that uh, the dual camera setup in a lot of these budget phones uh, is actually fake. It's not real. There's one camera that's in there, and that's it, although it has two lenses, so the second lens doesn't really do anything. But anyway, uh, you can see here you get your 2G, 3G, and 4G networks. Um, 
it's running Android 7.0. Uh, again, you get your six inch screen and it's a uh, 2K resolution. And you're looking at a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which is awesome. That's a non-removable battery, by the way. Uh, and your sensor. So you get a fingerprint sensor and all the rest that you would expect. So, um, like I said, box pretty nondescript. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. All right. Okay, so here is the phone. Let's take this guy out. So it's in a little bit of plastic here. But uh, let, me, let me put this off to the side for now. And I will have a look at some of the other accessories. Um, so again, the box and the packaging isn't anything to cry home about. But again, it's $240. So we don't really care about the box. It's just going to get stuffed away somewhere. So uh, in here, um, OK, so you get your quick start guide. Looks like it comes with a plastic uh, sort of case. And you get your SIM extractor tool there. But that is a plastic kind of like a flexi neoprene sort of case to I, it's not really going to protect your phone, but I guess it keeps it from getting scratched. So that's pretty cool. I like that because a lot of times with these uh, smaller brands, uh, it's hard to find accessories for them. So I love the fact that they give you a, uh, a phone case. Um, let's see what's in the rest of this box here. If I can get it out. Jeez, like really jammed in there. Um, so let's see. In here, you just have uh, your power brick. And this is an, uh, oh, actually, that's one of the uh, kind of like standard ones. I can't seem to get this open. Or one of the universal ones. You got to put an adapter on this guy. Um, Gearbest does supply one of these cheapy um, adapters. As you can see, that just fits right over there like that. And uh, I'm in Australia, so obviously we have the slanted plug there. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just a standard charger, nothing uh, crazy. Um, that's it. So it's branded on the cell phone there, which is kind of cool. So let's have a look in here. What do we got? I'm assuming this is the charging cable. Okay. So, all right. So uh, the the Elephone S8 uses uh, USB-C, um, and it foregoes the headphone jack, which, again, I wasn't too happy about. Um, but, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot. So uh, this is a adapter that goes uh, USB-C to 3.5 mil audio, which is awesome, which means I can use all of my old headphones. Uh, I just have to make sure I carry this guy around or you know, leave him plugged into my headphones and so on and so forth. But anyway, uh, really nice that they included that. Didn't have to go hunt around for it. Now, let's have a look at this. This is the uh, USB charging cable. So again, it's going to be USB-C. And I do like this. This is cool. It's got this metallic blue sort of finish to it. That's really uh, eye-catching. Um, it's, it's definitely really cool. The cable feels really thick, really solid, good quality, um, which is good because I don't have any extra USB-C cables laying around. Um, so, awesome. Comes with uh, a lot of accessories that you would expect. I'm just going to push all this stuff off to the side for now. And let's take a look at the phone. All right, so it comes in this, uh, you know, plasticky little sleeve here, which is fairly typical. And all right, so first of all, uh, the weight of this is pretty significant. Okay, so as you can tell, I got the black. Um, it's kind of hard to see the bezel bezels here, but uh, as you can see, it's pretty thin. Let's see if I can get the overhead light there to kind of show you. Now, there's a speaker up there. You're just going to have to trust me. You can't really see. You can sort of see the indentation there. Um, and there's your uh, fingerprint sensor. And uh, I should mention that uh, the screen here, uh, again, is 6 inch. Uh, that's from corner to corner. Uh, and it's a 2K resolution. And uh, the actual casing here around the entire phone is metal. Um, so that is, it feels really premium and it feels really nice in the hand. Now it's got this really reflective, shiny back to it. Um, obviously it's got you know, this plasticky stuff on it. Let's see if I can get this off. Oh, it's really on there. Let's see if I can get it from another angle. I mean, a lot of people who do unboxing videos, they love peeling this stuff off, but I don't know. Uh, it doesn't really, doesn't really do it for me. Um, but I cannot get this off. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, 
it is like really stuck on there. Ah, there we go. Uh, so you can you can see here just how shiny that is. And I mean, some people will probably hate that, uh, but it does look really nice. I know that you know my camera's probably not doing it any justice, but you know the light catches that, and I know the overhead lights they aren't really doing it. But you can see here, it's got a really cool sort of mirrored reflective sort of uh, finish. It's really, really cool. Uh, anyway, the one thing I will notice uh, is that that camera bump is pretty significant. So again, it's a, it's a single, single camera there. It's a 21 megapixel uh, Sony shooter. Uh, but again, the camera bump is fairly significant. Um, not a huge deal breaker, especially I'll probably use the case with it just because I don't want to get all scratched up. Um, it doesn't seem like it's too fingerprinty. Um, I don't know. I have to use it a bit more to, to see. Um, and it looks like there's, um, a bit of a, I'm not sure if this is a screen protector or if it's just a, I might just leave it on there for now and, uh, you know, play with it and see how I go. If it's, uh. If it bothers me, I'll rip it off. But anyway, let's fire this up and uh, just take a quick look at the at the initial boot, and then um, I'll come back and uh, do a full review on the phone itself after I've had a chance to play around with it. Um, so as you can see, again, it's that bezel-less design, and those are thin bezels. Um, I know that, you know, sometimes the... Ooh, what's this? This animation doesn't seem to be playing all that smoothly. It's the Elephone logo. Um, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, although, again, I'd have to play around with it to see. Um, but it does seem to take a while to boot up. Now, this is first boot, of course, so, you know, I have to reserve my judgments for later. Um, but then, yeah, uh, jumps into the setup screen. So I won't bother setting it up now. I'll do that later. Um, and then I'll uh, play around with the phone. I'll uh, test the camera, test the Wi-Fi, all that sort of thing, and come back and give you a uh, sort of review of what my initial impressions of this particular phone is. Uh, at, f at first glance, just, just how it looks, how it feels. Um, I think it looks fantastic. Um, you know, I think this is definitely sort of one of those statement phones. You pull this out, people are going to say, what the heck is that thing? Um, and the screen does look really nice. Uh, but again, nothing flashy here, just some text. But uh, I'll put it through uh, its paces and, uh, you know, I'll come back and I'll let you guys know what I think. Anyway, stay tuned.